Blessed be the name of the Lord. We greet you all with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to invite those who are able to stand to read the Word of God. We're going to make the reading in Ezekiel chapter 47. We will read starting on the verse 7. Me levou e me tornou a trazer à margem do ribeiro. E tomando eu, tornando eu, eis que à margem do ribeiro havia uma grande abundância de árvores, de uma e de outra mão. Então me disse: Estas águas saem para a região oriental. E desce a campina e entra no mar. E sendo levadas ao mar, when I returned, there along the bank of the river were very many trees on the side and the other. On one side and the other. Then he said to me, These waters flow toward the eastern region, goes down into the valley, and enters the sea. When he reaches the sea, its waters are healed, and it shall be that every living thing that moves wherever the river goes will live. There will be a very great multitude of fish because these waters go there, for they will be healed, and everything will be wherever the river goes. Lord, we thank you as you brought, here, brought us here tonight to heal us, to strengthen us, our lives. Therefore, we ask you, be with us during the service. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. The church may be seated. Bread and the, the text that we read bring us an experience lived by Ezekiel, the prophet. And in this passage, he had an experience with the Lord. In this experience, he was taken to a place Well, there was rivers of waters. And the word of God says, an angel with the tape, measure tape. And he starts measuring a thousand cubits. And he invited Ezekiel to enter in these waters. And the, the Bible says that he enters the river. And the Bible says that the water reached his ankles. So the angel measured a little more another thousand cubits and invited Ezekiel to move forward to go even more deeper so he obeyed and he moved 
And the Bible says in the second phase, the waters were reaching. So the first phase reached his uh, toes and the second phase reached his ankles. So tonight before the service started, God gave us two gifts of the Holy Spirit. And one of the, the gifts shows that the ones that were here, they were like barefoot without wearing any shoes. So all of us, we all were bare, barefoot. So in this gift, the Lord showed that there was water flowing. It looks like the church was uh, flowing, overflowing. So this water was passing through the church and was purifying, starting in our feet. And when we talk about the feet, as we listen to this gift, I remember when the text that says that Moses saw the bush burning in the desert, in the wilderness, and he turned himself to see and to, to realize what was happening. Because traditionally, it was very common for bushes to burn self-combustion. And the strange thing for Moses was that the bush was burning, but it was not being consumed. And he was looking and waiting. The bush was burning, but it was not getting destroyed. So that was not normal. So he approached. And in a certain distance, he listened to the voice saying, do not approach anymore. Take your shoes from your feet as the land that you are stepping on is holy. And brethren, tonight we are in the holy place. We are in the holy land. And that's why in the gift, everybody was showing barefoot. The reason for that is that the water, the healing waters, could operate the purpose of healing us, to give us health. So Ezekiel went one more phase. He was invited for the third phase. So in the gift, it was showing that our feet were, were, was cleaned. But the instruction of the Lord is that we let our feet be cleaned. And certain occasion, Jesus had the same situation with his disciples. He brought a container with water and one by one he was offering to clean the feet of the disciples. Some would think, you are the master. You're not supposed to do that. Let me serve you. And Jesus says, let me do it, otherwise you have no part with me. So God has this detail of care to bring us to this place so we can be purified. So we can live here before his presence, our issues before God's throne. Interesting that in the Bible, in the text that we just read, the angel measured again another 1,000 cubits. And he invited Ezekiel to go forward. This talks about our sensitivity to the Lord and Many, many times the Lord has invited us to go deeper. And we listen about the Lord. We have come to this place 
we have been granted with experiences and for certain if we ask everyone to to share an experience one by one maybe we go home tomorrow because everyone has an experience with the Lord and there is some that uh, was more remarkable than the others a situation in the workplace I was in a circumstance that I, I'm not sure how I could be delivered from, the, from an accident. Many, many experiences we have with the Lord. As for when we don't have any access to anything, we have no power in ourselves, the Lord comes and rescues us. And brethren, and when we see a gift like the one that he showed tonight, it's because the Lord is inviting us. So as the angel was inviting Ezekiel in the vision to go deeper, he was invited to go forward. And the waters will go deeper as the angel stretched the line and measured it. So until a certain point, the Ezekiel's feet was at the bottom of the river. He was touching the bottom of the river. He still can touch the bed of the river. But the, the main purpose of the Lord is to let him go beyond. So the angel stretched the line again and measured one more thousand cubits. And Ezekiel mentioned that after that, he couldn't step firmly in the bed of the river. It was waters that could be crossed only by swimming. And the Lord is invite us tonight to do the same. To let this river conduct us. Take our feet from the bottom of the river. Lose the contact with this earth. So these waters can conduct us, can take us. Because, as the Bible mentioned, these were the waters that healed. Whatever these waters passed through, they healed. And we believe by faith that this river is passing by the church tonight. We can feel it. And in another gift of the Holy Spirit, an angel was here and the mission of this angel was to heal, to bring health. The Lord sent his angel to cure and I strongly believe everyone without exception, we will be blessed and we're going to receive a vaccine that comes from the Lord. But in the gift there is a woman specifically that the Lord healed physically. The Lord didn't show exactly who was, but by faith we can proclaim that the Lord is giving a blessing of health, deliverance to a lady tonight. And the Lord is doing this for his love. Brethren, the Lord has many more blessings to give us. But we need to follow, to listen to His voice, listen to the call. And we know that many, many times our lifestyle, the work, our daily tasks. So to, to conquer everything and to be here, humanly talking, it's impossible for ourselves. Sometimes we say, I go. The, we have to use the great mercy of the Lord so we can be here. So we can feel what we're feeling at this moment, knowing that the Lord is cleaning us. 
knowing that the Lord is strengthening us. The Lord is healing us. He is enabling us to keep going, to move forward in this walk. Shouldn't be any doubts in our hearts. The second coming of Jesus is soon, very soon. And there is a need that we can be ready, prepared. The Lord has worked even harder. So no one can be loose. No one can be without salvation. So no one can be lost spiritually. And the word of God completes saying. And it will be that any creature, living creature, that moves wherever the rivers go, will leave. And there will be very great multitude of fish. That means we're not going to want any food, lack of food, many, many multitude of fish, the Lord says. Because these waters go there for they will be healed and everything will leave wherever the river goes. We need to let God operate and do more for us. We're going to close our eyes in this moment. The musicians will be playing. Put your life before the Lord. Let God know how deep you need to go to have a new and fresh experience.
presença do ser purificado nessa noite porque o Senhor está neste lugar e os seus anjos estão aqui diga ao Senhor Senhor, eu quero entrar nessas águas, eu preciso ser purificado Senhor, eu preciso de uma bênção Senhor, eu preciso entender Lord, I need to understand Tell the Lord, you want to go deeper, understanding His will. Let's stand at this moment. Let's have some words of praises to the Lord. You can open your mouth and glorify His name. Lord, we glorify you because we are needy and we recognize that you have invited us to go deeper to go beyond we understand that day after day we need your strength to move forward and only in your presence we can find the strength we need in this world there's no joy but our joy is in the Lord that's why we We are so grateful. No matter what happens, some situations we don't understand, but we are glad to be in your presence, to serve you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Lord, we bless you. 
to be here tonight once again for the victory that you have given us so we can be here even though we don't deserve you have blessed our lives and we praise you that we can stand by faith in the presence in the name of Jesus we bless your name O Lord for your presence is real among us we exalt you even though we don't deserve your mercy has allowed us to participate on these blessings we bless you for this great love that you have given us we bless your name for truly we are being blessed for your hands we praise you with all our strength in the name of Jesus Amen Lord we thank you for the blessings that you have poured out upon us and I feel that you have healed me oh Lord you are the motive for our lives you are everything we need in the name of Jesus we praise you for your mercy to sustain us in this world in the name of Jesus Lord we like to exalt you take us in your hands O Lord by your hands and dismiss us in peace from your house keep with your care upon us so this joy never leaves our hearts this is the prayer that we make in the name of Jesus amen the church may be seated anyone that might need any prayer or an assistance we will be here to assist you in any manner, any matter that you need. To all, peace of the Lord Jesus.